After you have created a new workspace and started with an empty process, it is time to model some process content. Go to Process and start in Workflows and Activities. Use the orange plus button at the bottom of the left side navigation to add a new workflow. Start typing the name and press Enter to save the workflow. You can continue with the procedure until you have created several workflows. Once you are done, just click somewhere else to stop the creation mode. If you do not see the orange plus button, make sure you have the appropriate permissions and double check you switch to the working version. Select the model you view to support fast and easy modeling. Select a workflow and add activities to it by either using the orange plus button or the three dot menu next to the workflow name. We will add several activities with the orange plus button. Just type the activity title into the field, press the tabulator key to open another field or click on add one more. Save and see the two linked activities in the visualization. Select the first activity and view the successor activity also in the sequence widget. In the work products widget, you can add inputs and outputs to the activity. The work product can be added and created at the same time. Use the three dot menu in the upper right of the visualization to blend in additional information, such as the inputs and outputs. Similarly, we will add the created work product as input to the successor activity. Same mechanism applies to the association of a role to an activity. This can be done in the role widget by adding a responsible, accountable, supporting, informed or consulting role. The associated responsible role is shown as a swim lane in the visualization. In the phases widget, you can link the activity to one of several phases. Start typing the title, create and add the phase. Use the three dot menu in the visualization to blend in additional information about phases or process interfaces.